I'm Rabbi Doug Alpert of Congregation Kol Ami, Kansas City's Urban Progressive Synagogue. Thanks, I, I like Kol Ami too. <laughs> I'm also a proud board member of the following nonpartisan organizations who are pursuing what the Reverend Dr. William Barber refers to as moral agendas to overcome the politics of division and fear. Woo! I stand here proudly as a part of Moore Squared, the Metro Organization for Racial and Economic Equity. I stand with Stand Up KC and the Worker Rights Board, and you'll hear from them. Faith co-chair of Missouri Jobs with Justice. I serve on the board of Missouri Faith Voices and Missouri Healthcare for All. So today is Shabbat. It's the Jewish Sabbath. And normally I would not have accepted the invitation to speak at a major rally such as this on Shabbat. But these aren't normal times. So I am here and I'm honored and grateful for the opportunity. But yet, the fact that it is Shabbat does alter my perception of the day. So you see, I've been known at these events to raise my voice in anger, to rail against the injustice facing the marginalized in our communities. But Shabbat is a time to let go of our anger. It is a time to get a taste of what a more perfect world might look like what we can be instead of maybe who we are right now. Put rather simply, it's to be in relationship, to appreciate the others in our lives, and to understand that we are all created, what we say in Hebrew is B'Tselem Elohim, we are all created in the image of God. One month ago, my wife Faye and I were in the Czech Republic and we traveled to Terezin, the site of the most horrific atrocities foisted on my people and others by the Nazis. This was a place and time of darkness for the Jewish people. But within this place of darkness, bereft of hope, were stories of light and courage. So on this day, on this Shabbat, rather than fighting the darkness, I choose to run to the light. of joining in purpose and spirit with my Muslim brothers and sisters who build an enhanced community. And rest assured, if Muslims are ever required to register in this country as Jews were once compelled to do, then meet Muslim Rabbi Doug Alpert. <laughs> the light of the African-American community, a community of dignity and moral purpose, even after experiencing centuries of indignities. <laughs> the light of the LGBTQ community. We honor, we honor same sex marriage, not only because it's, it's right, but because the queer couples I have met are shining examples of what loving relationships ought to be. The light of all immigrants, both documented and undocumented, upon whom our country is built and who are committed to building better lives for themselves and their families. The light of fast food and other low-wage workers who always give more than an honest day's work and who deserve the dignity of a living wage. The and yes, I run to the light of women. Women whose leadership brings us together here today. I am absolutely certain will be the light that leads us toward a future filled with hope, with compassion, and with moral purpose. So tomorrow and in the day
enemies to come, I'll again raise my voice against the darkness of injustice, and you should too. We all should cry out against division and injustice. But today, I will carry with me forward from this day and forevermore the light of this very special day. So I pray that we all keep this light of compassion, of dignity, of love with us here today and always. Thank you. Thank you.